Right, in this video I'm going to look at expanding or multiplying triple brackets, three brackets. And if you don't know how to multiply two brackets, it might be worth watching um, the videos about multiplying double brackets. The first step is to multiply the first two brackets together. And that, uh, for that you create a box, a two-way box. You put your multiplication sign to remind yourself that you are multiplying. You put the first bracket here, the second bracket there. The first um, term in the first bracket is x, so I'm going to put x here. The second term in the bracket is a negative 4. The sign is really important, negative 4. And then the second bracket, you've got the first term, the first part is 2x, so I'm going to put it here. And the second part in the bracket is a plus 3, a positive 3, so I'm going to add it here. And then you multiply those two together. 2x times x, well this x really is a 1x, 2 times 1 is 2, and then x times x is x squared, x multiplied by itself is x squared. Then you've got a positive 2x multiplied by a negative 4. If you're not sure what the sign is going to be, just put it in your calculator. 2 times negative 4, you'll get a negative 8. Forget the x for now when you're putting it in the calculator. So this is negative 8, but of course I'm multiplying with an x as well. So negative 8x. Then I'm going to do the positive 3 times x. So there is a positive 3x and the last column is a positive 3 times a negative 4 and again you can put that into your calculator and you get a negative 12. Now remember those two are like terms so they have to be simplified. So you've got a 2x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 12 and those have to be uh, simplified because they are alike. Again, if that is difficult, just type in what you see in, in the calculator and forgetting the x. So you see a minus 8, so type that in. After that, you see a plus 3. There's no need to add anything else. Plus mi minus 8, plus 3. Just put it in and you will get minus 5. To that, you add your x. So when we simplify it, we get 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. Now this is going to be the next part. This is going to be multiplied by our last bracket. And for that, we need another table. One of the tables is going to have three parts to it. I always put it at the top. It doesn't matter, but I always put it at the top. And I'm going to put the three parts here. First part is 2x squared. Next part is minus 5x. Always remember the sign. And the last part is a minus 12. And then I'm going to put the third bracket there. So I need... Um, third bracket has x to start with and it has minus 1. Might put that in a different color because that's a multiplication sign. And again I'm multiplying. Well 2x squared times x. x squared times x means the three of them multiplied by each other so now I have 2x cubed. Remember this is a 1 times 2 which gives us a 2. And then this part is again going to be multiplied by the 1x. So minus 5x times 1x, well minus 5 times 1 is minus 5, and the x times x is x squared. And then the minus 12 is going to be multiplied by the 1x. So that's minus 12x. And then I'm going to focus on the negative 1. Everything is going to be multiplied by the negative 1. 2x squared times negative 1, well, that's a it's a negative times a positive, so it's negative 2x squared. 
negative 5x times negative 1. Well, if you're not sure, negative 1 times negative 5 is a positive 5. And of course, the x is added at the end. And you can do this bit with your calculator. So this is plus 5x. And um, the last one, negative 12 times negative 1 is a positive 12. Now, there are several like terms. These two opposite each other both have an x squared, so they have to be simplified. Um, and then those two have just an x, and they have to be simplified. So I'm going to write them all next to each other. 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 2x squared. I always write the like terms next to each other. And then plus 5x minus 12x and then plus 12. So these two together and these two together. If you're not sure, that's what you type. Minus 5 minus 2. And if you're not sure, you type plus 5 minus 12. Well, minus 5 minus 2 is going to give you minus 7, and then you add the x squared. You don't change the powers. It's just uh, 7 minus 7 x squared. Then you have plus 5, and I'm taking away 12, so that is, again, minus 7. And just add the x. You don't change the powers of the x. And then you've got your uh, final. This stays the same, 2x cubed minus 7x squared minus 7x. And then, of course, finally, plus 12. You simplify the like terms and you write them down. The next question gives you one bracket with a cube at the top. This means that this bracket is multiplied by itself and there's three of them. 4x plus 3 times 4x plus 3 times 4x plus 3. So, what do I do? I always start by multiplying uh, the first two brackets by each other. So I create the box. I'm going to put my multiplication sign. 4x plus 3 and 4x plus 3. 4 times 4 is 16. x times x is x squared. 4x times a positive 3 is a positive 12x. And then 4x times a positive 3 is a positive 12x. 3 times 3 is a 9x, positive 9x. And then I know that these two are like terms, so I simplify them. 16x squared plus 12x plus 12x plus, ooh, did I put an x here? Sorry, this is a 3 times 3, which is just a 9, no x's. And then um, these are like terms, so 12 add 12 is 24, so I've got 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. And this, this now has to be multiplied by the last bracket. And for that, I need um, an extra table. And I always put the three columns at the top. My multiplication sign. 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. And then the top bracket is... Um, 4x and it is a plus 3 and then I start multiplying. So I've got 16 times 4 
and 16 times 4 is 64, but I'm not done because I've got an x squared multiplied by an x, that means it's x cubed. And then I've got a 24x times a 4x, well 24 times 4 is 96, and it's a positive. x times x is x squared. And then I've got a 9 times 4 x, which is a positive 36 x. And then the top line is all multiplied by 3, so 16 times 3 is 48, but it's 16 x squared, so it becomes 48 x squared. 24 x times 3, so you've got 24 times 3, which is a positive 72, and the x, because I'm multiplying 24 x by 3. And then you've got the plus 9 times 3, so it's a positive 9 times a positive 3, which is a positive 27. Note that you've got two lots of like terms. You've got the x squareds, which are alike, and we have to sim simplify them separately. And then you have the x's, which are alike, and you simplify those separately. So, if I write it all out, 64x cubed plus 96x squared plus 48x squared plus 72x plus 36x plus... Why did I write 28? 9 times 3 is 27. Um, and... Uh, so that's 27. Um, and then I'm going to simplify these. So that's together is going to be simplified. These together is going to be simplified. So this is 64x cubed. And then you get your calculator and you do 96 plus 48. And this is 144x squared. You don't change the powers. Then you get your calculator and you do 72 plus 36. And you get 108, and you don't change anything, it's 108x. And then, of course, this stays the same, plus 27. And that is your final answer. Okay, and the last question is a little bit different, because there aren't three brackets, there are two brackets and then an x. So what I would do is I would actually multiply the double brackets first together. So I would put x minus 4 and 2x plus 5. And I would start multiplying. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. 1x times 5 is a positive 5x. Uh, 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. And of course, you've got your like terms, which you have to simplify. So 2x squared minus 8x plus 5x minus 20. And if you're not sure what that gives, put it in your calculator minus 8 and then plus 5. And that gives you um, minus 3 and you add your x. So you've got 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. Now that is the result of the double bracket, but you still have to uh, multiply everything by x. So everything in that bracket has to be multiplied by that x. That means this part is going to be multiplied by the x. So 2x squared times x is 2x cubed, because there's now three of them, the x squared multiplied by another x. And then the second part has to be multiplied by x, negative 3x times x. Well, that gives us negative 3x squared, because it's x times x. And then the last part has to be multiplied by the x as well, so negative 20 times x is negative 20x. Everything in the bracket has to be multiplied by x and that is your final answer.